Hey guys, welcome to another episode of How to Be an Adult. Uh, Happy New Year. This is my first video that I'm recording this year. The one that you saw on the 1st of January was recorded uh, in 2019. Happy New Year. Wish you all the best. Uh, let's make a 2020 an amazing year. So today we're looking at an Android app. It's a paid app. It costs about uh, $2, something like that. I've already discussed how I'm filming more and more with my phone. Even the GoPro I only use for like uh, action sports or some some situations where uh, it's kind of kind of uh, dangerous to use my phone and i have rarely used my mirrorless uh, camera uh, lately and the only thing i was using this for was uh, time lapses because the gopro is good but uh, but um, the micro four thirds uh, sensor with a nice lens it's just much much better lately i've been trying to find a way to do that with the phone and i've tried a lot of apps that would do time lapses but most of those would do video or just regular photos and i wanted to be able to shoot raw images so i found this thing called intervalometer it's a really basic app that just helps you use your integrated camera app. That way I can use the camera app on my uh, Galaxy S10 Plus and uh, use the Pro feature to shoot RAW images and just use this app to press the button instead of me. Let's go ahead, open the app and uh, it just pops up at an overlay screen. Then you can open your camera, position the phone and uh, yeah, not the best angle, but I had to work with that. Then I'll go to the pro setting and just adjust the settings manually. Using the configure button, button, you can pretty much show where the button is that the app is gonna be clicking. Then you can set up the interval, the uh, number of images that it's supposed to take and um, the interval before it starts taking them. And then it will just start pressing the button instead of uh, you having to press it manually. Let's just speed that up a bit. And that's the ready time lapse using the JPEGs. And if you edit it a bit and use the raw images, you can get something like that. Uh, it's a it's a great way to like reduce uh, the, the the tech that you have to bring with you if you're into time lapses. It's also an easy way to add a bit more flair to your videos because um, let's face it, time lapses are cool. Okay, let's look at some more time lapses that I managed to catch with uh, this app. Okay guys, that was it. Just a short review of uh, Intervalometer, uh, the Android app. I highly recommend this app if you're interested in shooting time lapses and if you want to ditch your camera and uh, just focus on your creativity and or getting to the places that you want to film instead of bringing all this luggage in a camera bag. I know that some of you won't agree uh, with, with my choice, but uh, I just found out that um, the added value of the uh, slightly better uh, video quality that I'm getting from the camera is just not enough to 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 bring with me uh, everywhere I go uh, a whole camera bag with the camera, lenses, batteries, uh, etc. So um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch that bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and see you next time. Thing that the time or some some more um, this thing called intervalometer uh, intervalometer using the configure button button you can and uh, if you if you um, 